I find politics absolutely fascinating. Are you sure you're not running for anything? Jerry. Yeah. Hi. Hi. So, what do you want to drink? Champagne. Nothing for me. Oh, okay. Well, what's the matter, problem? Well, um... All those girls is drooling over him. I'm surprised he doesn't carry around an umbrella. <laughs> Although, I'm not surprised because he's gorgeous. <laughs> and he's totally taken with you. Well, could you please tell them? Oh, I don't think I have to. It's perfectly obvious he hasn't taken his eyes over you since we walked over here. Want to switch? Yes? Is she here? I haven't seen her anywhere. Well, she left the complex to pick up Carlton down by the docks, and then they're going to go back there. Maybe, maybe you had to change. She's not allowed to. Maybe I should look into it. Why don't you sit down here and try not to get picked up? Right. Oh, that's right. Here. Go ahead and tell me again, Tom. Tell me about how the truth never hurts. I never should have gotten involved in therapy. I don't know what I was thinking. You wanted to save yourself. Yeah, right. And destroy everybody else's life in the process. I told you that this was going to affect Felicia. I never knew that it could be this much. Colin, she wanted answers almost as badly. Yeah, you? well, we got them, didn't we? The questions that I wish to God that we never asked. You know what I did, Tom? I traded the woman I loved for the truth. <sighs> Lord. Listen, Colin, why don't you let me give you something to help you relax? No. No drugs. I've been out of touch too long, okay? <sighs> Look, I'm gonna try the hotel. She's probably Colton, at the listen party. to me. If you're so determined for Felicia to find out, let me tell her. Waive doctor-patient <sighs> confidentiality and I'll... No, no way. It's gonna hit her like a ton of bricks. You don't think that I know that? You still love Felicia, don't you? And why don't you do her an enormous favor by buying her a little more time? You both need it. Try to get some rest. I'll be back first thing in the morning. We'll decide how to approach Felicia. Agreed? Listen. Before we began therapy, I promised to help you work through whatever truth we discovered about your past. I intend to keep that promise. Felicia cares very deeply for you. And in the end, that'll win out. Let's wait and see. Very upset. Yeah. She wants to sleep with us in our bed tonight. I think it's the least we can do. Yeah, sure. Okay. She must have left the cage unlocked. That's the only explanation, isn't it? You don't agree? You think somebody got in here? Oh no, come on. No, Not no. The alarm. There wasn't. It truly, Robin was here. I don't want to. No, think I'm that. not thinking that. I'm just wondering how the bird died. I don't know what to think. Yeah. I'm only concerned is protecting both of you. That's all. I know. I'm not ready for that. But, I mean, there has to be another explanation, doesn't there? Yeah, sure, you're right. 
Well, who's going to break in here just to kill a bird? It doesn't make sense. Hey, I, I don't know. It seems like such a lot of hard work just for nothing, doesn't it? Yes. Anyway, we've got to worry about Robin. We can figure out what happened later. I know. We will. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. It's all right if Robin stays with us tonight. Sure. Sure. I'll be in soon. Charles Hotel. Olivia St. John. Okay, then I suggest you give her a message. Yeah, you can tell her that. I... No. Don't give her a message. I'm sure I'll see her shortly. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Oh, yes. Nice Thank you so much for reassuring me about my father, and I'm grateful to know he's getting the best of care. That I can promise you. And it was nice meeting you. Hey, I don't know what I'd do if anything happened to my father. Great job. Congratulations. Yeah. Like work. Just an incredible job putting the light and sound board together. Yeah. Complex. yeah, I mean, you were a, a real pro. Well, what can I say? Worth every penny. Of course, if you'd care to pop for a bonus for your favorite light and sound man. Well, we were impressed, but not that impressed. Yeah, story of my life. <laughs> I have already paid you a fortune. I need every penny. Saving up for my old age. Open bar. Hey, Open guys. bar. Hey, guys. How are you? Hey, good hey, to see you. I couldn't begin to tell you. Excuse me. Oh. Good evening. Hello. Oh, how are you? Good to see you. Well, well, it's about time. Hi, I'm sorry I got hung up. Uh, have you seen Felicia around? Why, no. Why, is something wrong? Well, I was just wondering if you'd seen her around. Tom, what's the matter? You look as if you lost your best friend. Well, it's just that I had a rough session with a, a patient. I mean, it's nothing for you to concern yourself with, though. It'll work out, I hope. Well, now that you're here, why don't you sit down and relax a bit? You will. Okay, will. after you. Here you go. Excuse us. Yeah. Boy, this Excuse politic me. is horrible. Let's go someplace where we can be alone. Um, well, I figured you might want to uh, work the floor a little more to get more votes. I think I'd rather work on my own personal campaign right now. <laughs> well, don't hang around on my account. The last thing I want to do is interfere with the democratic process. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All dressed up, no one to show. How about a dance for old time's sake, Bobby? Even I'm not that hard up, Scott. <laughs> uh, just wait around. Hello. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. That's all right. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. What's up, Robert? Or, uh, Felicia and Colton. Well, I haven't seen Felicia around all night. You don't know where they are either? I was looking for her myself earlier. What's going on? How do you mean? Well, I called the hospital earlier. They said that you and he were out in the docks together. We took a little walk, yes. Why? Well, I conveyed that information to Felicia and I haven't seen her since. Robert, we don't have time to chat. We've got to find Felicia fast. Come on. You're going to be so busy, though, you're not going to miss me. I could work 24 hours a day and you'd still be on my mind. You know, I haven't been able to think about anyone or anything else since the day we met. 
He lie. He lie. He don't stop. I believe this. To the party, I think. Maybe we should have our own at the brownstone. Um, intimate gatherings have always been very appealing to me. Ditto. Tony, it's up to you. Tony, will you please listen to me for a minute, please? I've already heard this song. No, but I figured out what our problem no, is. No, we don't we have... have a problem. You have a problem getting a lawyer. No, no, the problem is that we're surrounded by very bad influences. We could just get rid of all those people, you know, that call your friends and protectors. We could have something back again. We could make this work out. We I know it. history. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner we'll get on with our lives. No, Tony, I don't want a life without you. I don't. You should have thought about that a long time ago. And we've delayed too long. Let's get a divorce. So, are you trying to tell me, or are you trying to tell me that he just up and disappeared on me? And he had not later. As usual. <laughs> I don't even ask him where he's going anymore. Well, at least you know he's in town. I mean, it's more than I know. I don't know. I think I'll just go home and check my answering machine. For a message from Sean? Well, miracles do happen every now and then. Careful, your heart's showing. I think it is dripping all over my sleeves. I can't help it, Sean. I'm missing, you know? And they will they want You're really in bad shape, aren't you? I don't know where he is. I don't know what he's doing. And if you did, you'd be on the next plane. Don't put it past me. Well, if you get hold of him, give him my love. I think mine is all he can handle. Or at least it better be. Bye. Bye. So Scorpio actually let you out of his sight, but wonders never see. Where are you running off to? He can't very well see us together if he's not here, can he? Or does he have his spies watching us? What do you want? Just to talk to a friend. Is anything wrong with it? Yes, there's something very wrong with it, and you know exactly what. Well, I won't tell darling Robert if you don't. I'm in love with the man. I'm not about to deceive him. Oh, since when? Or is not telling him about Julie and your idea of an honest relationship? That's different. Well, relax. I won't spill your precious beans. I won't have to. What is that supposed to mean? Well, the truth will come out sooner or later. How long do you think it can continue this charade? I think you'd better tell Robert the whole story about Julian and now. Otherwise, you're going to sink under your own pile of lies and all the love in the world won't save you. 